Microsoft released the October 2020 feature update for users. The update is slowly rolling out. If you have Windows 10 version 1903 or above, you will see the October update option very soon. Before you decide to go for it, let's preview the new Windows 10 20 H2 update features. Before we start this guide, press that like button and subscribe to our channel. To install the update, check the update section. If you see the Windows 10 October 2020 update option, you can download it. But if it is not there, then it means your device is not yet ready for the update. Though, you can manually install it. To install it manually, check the description for the link of the dedicated video. What's new in Windows 10 20 H2 update? Microsoft hasn't included a lot of features in this update, and that's a good thing. In every update, they try to introduce new features that mess the update. This time, it seems that Microsoft has concentrated much on increasing the stability and quality of Windows 10 instead of making it buggy. Microsoft Edge is now inbuilt. From this update, Microsoft Edge comes inbuilt by default. In the past update, Edge was there but as separate software. Microsoft Edge was launched in January 2020 and it was available for users since then but now they have officially included it in the update. Microsoft has improved this Chromium-based browser a lot on the user's feedback. Now it comes built in with new features like collections. But Internet Explorer is still there. Alt plus Tab displays Edge browser tabs. Now, when you press Alt plus Tab button, you will see the Edge browser tabs along with other windows. It is helpful if you regularly use the Edge browser you can easily navigate through different tabs. However, if you don't like this option, you can disable it from the settings. Open System Settings and go to Multitasking. Then change the setting. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Find all Edge tabs of pinned taskbar website. If you have pinned a website on the taskbar, you can find all different tabs of that website by clicking on the pinned icon. So if you have different tabs in Windows of Edge, you can quickly reach your pinned website tab. Improvements in the Start menu theme. In the October 2020 update, Microsoft has redesigned the Start menu theme to make it look more elegant. Now the Start menu has a partially transparent background that matches better with the dark and light themes. If you want more colors, then visit Settings, Personalization, Color. Then enable Show Accent Color on the following surface for Start, Taskbar, and Action Center. The system is removed from Control Panel. With Windows 10 20 H2 update, the system is removed from the control panel. When you click on the system in the control panel, it opens the About page in Settings. This page is much better than the control panel. It contains detailed information about your system. There is a Copy button to catch all this information also. Display Refresh Rate option in the Settings. Now you can change the refresh rate of your display in the Settings. To access it, open Settings, Click System, Display, Advanced Display Settings, scroll down and you will see the option to change the refresh rate. A higher refresh rate provides smoother motion, which is good for gaming. Open apps of Samsung Smartphone in your phone app. With some select Samsung smartphones, you can open their apps from your Windows 10 PC. Your phone app is getting more features day by day. Very soon, Microsoft is planning to extend this feature for all smartphones. Switching to tablet mode by default. Earlier, when you detach the keyboard in the two-in-one device, a pop-up asking, do you want to enable tablet mode, appears. Now with the October 2020 update, they have removed this pop-up. Tablet mode gets activated as you detach the keyboard. If you don't like this change, you can disable it from the settings, system, then tablet and change the option. 
Focus Assist notifications get disabled by default. Now Focus Assist will not bug you with the summary of notifications that it prevented. Earlier, when you close a full screen app, notification pop-ups showing the summary of notifications stopped. Now it won't bother you. Enhancement in Notifications Now Windows 10 notifications are much better. They tell you exactly where they are coming from. The notifications contain the application logo. The X button to close the notification is much better. These are new features of the Windows 10 October 2020 update. Which feature did you like the most? Did this update disappoint you or do you like it? Let's discuss in the comments. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.